I think with the way my relationship is right now, I'm not happy. This week on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Kyle Richards is getting real about the issues she and husband Mauricio Umansky were having pre-separation, and Sutton is getting fed up after being ambushed at an elevator by Erica and the cast of Magic Mike Live after her freakout. Maybe you guys come again next time and see the whole show. Safe to say that what happens in Vegas is totally coming with them back to Beverly Hills. So let's get into season 13, episode four. I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. We pick up following Sutton's Magic Mike freak out. Everyone's kind of gathering themselves after that went down. I said to them in the past, like, you know. He's singing. And Kyle and Dorit are having a little bonding moment over a cocktail, or a mocktail in Kyle's case. And speaking of that mocktail, Dorit's feeling a little concerned about Kyle's recent decision to stop drinking and start working out. I know, only these ladies could turn those things into a negative. You're working out. I, who works out anymore? Dorit tells Kyle she's nervous that these new lifestyle changes are a way that she's protecting herself and getting control after the trauma of falling out with her sister Kathy. Kyle kind of brushes that off. I mean, I'm not a psychologist, but I don't know. But does give us a little more insight into how that fallout and her sobriety has affected her marriage. I expected more from him, from what I was going through. He loves to go drink and does a lot of business events where, you know, I'm supposed to go and, you know, I know, be alive and support him. And sometimes it's like, I don't want to go to these parties. Asked if she's worried about the future of her marriage, Kyle admitted she and Mauricio have been growing in different directions and things don't sound good. I mean, obviously they're not good. They're separated current day, but you know. Now just to poke at Kyle a little more, we get a totally not production planted question game at dinner later in the episode, during which the totally not pointed questions scribbled on a card by a PA ask the ladies if they believe monogamy is natural and if they would forgive their spouse for being unfaithful once. Cue the greatest hits of Mauricio cheating rumors. Do I look like the kind of person that would be like, ah, just don't let me find out about it? No, I'm not. Kyle's marriage may be falling apart, but she's still got the chutzpah to join the ladies and going after Sutton for her bizarre Magic Mike exit. Although not as much energy as Erica, clearly, who totally doesn't plan for the elevator to open on Sutton with one of the Magic Mike live dancers inside. This is your chance to apologize to my friend, really who you said was it's over really the top amazing. and the show was yeah. Cue Sutton Spiral. Really you put words in my mouth. I never said the show was shitty. And Spiral. Me being cornered. cornered by y'all again. And Spiral. Ridiculous. Name them. Uh, not having Name uh, Well, be quiet. So Name let em. me talk. Jesus. You know the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills ladies are totally known for totally letting things go and moving on. So I'm sure this won't follow her for the whole season. And I can't wait to watch it. Let's end like this, no, okay? Me no. Like and subscribe, drop a comment about this week's episode below, and head over to popculture.com for the latest in entertainment news. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call.